everyone, it's Bethany, and in this tutorial we are going to be making a really cute hat, and I thought it would be super fun to do this really nice white hat with a really fun patterned iron-on. So I'm going to be using this gingham green pattern iron-on, and I love it. It's so pretty. I did another tutorial with this where I made a spring dish towel, and it just looks really, really nice against the white, plus I just love gingham. Does anyone else? I'm asking for a friend here. I love gingham so much. So whenever I see it, I am just all about getting it snatched up in my cart because it's just totally me. So I'm going to be using this really cool patterned HTV iron on and I'm going to do it on this white hat. We are going to be doing this with the Cricut Joy and with the mini easy press. So we're going to be using a lot of mini things today. So what you're going to need for this project is obviously a hat and then some iron on of your choice. I'll link this one down below in case you have fallen in love with it just as much as I have. I think I'm probably going to have to order another roll of it because it's just way too pretty. And then you're going to need some type of of little dish towel and this is going to be for the pressing part um, just to help with the um, it's a little odd to put on an easy press mat so this is just going to help um, get a little bit of cushion underneath the hat when it comes time to pressing. We're also going to be using a weeding tool and some scissors. Some heat resistant tape is going to come in handy for this project. And then we're going to measure our hat just to make sure we size our letters appropriately for the hat. And then we're going to be using the Cricut Joy mat because we're going to be putting some larger um, materials through the Cricut Joy. So we're going to just size this down, place it on a mat, and feed it through the Joy. Okay, so for our or our um, measurements here, we are going to be working with, I'm going to measure from kind of bill to bill, if you will, and I'm going to say we have about seven inches to work with, but I don't want it to obviously go that far across, and I'm going to have some spacing between my letters. So more importantly, um, we also want to know how much in length we have to work with and I'm eyeballing and I'm thinking that an inch and a half in height is going to be plenty so that kind of goes down to my finger there from the top of that measuring tape down to my finger I think an inch and a half is going to be plenty big so I'm going to focus on that um, so I have about seven inches to work with and then I don't want to go any taller than an inch and a half with my letters so let's go ahead and pop into Cricut Design Space I will go ahead and link everything that I'm using in the description box below in case you want to go ahead and shop this look and recreate it at your own craft table. And if I do pop in any other materials throughout the tutorial, I'll be sure to link them below as well. So we're going to go into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you how I'm going to create this simple design just with the text box and we will go ahead and get it cut out and ironed onto our hat. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a very basic design here with just the text box. So I'm going to go down to this fifth button down on the left. It's just this large T and this is where we will add a text. And then we're going to click that. I'm going to be using the font DIN Condensed. And this is just a Cricut font, I believe. So it should already be loaded in Design Space. It's this font right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then with all capital letters, I'm going to spell out MAMA. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger so we can really see it. Uh, I really like this basic font for a couple reasons. When I'm working with a pattern, I think it's nice to kind of use a uh, font that's a little bit more basic just because the pattern is really going to be what's showcased. So it's kind of nice to pair something a little bit more basic with something a little bit more vibrant, if that makes sense. So the basic part will be the text and then the more vibrant part will be the pattern. Um, so it's also really important when you're working with a patterned HTV or a patterned vinyl that you get a font that is going to be thick enough for the pattern to show through. So you want to make sure that you're choosing a font that, you know, you're going to be able to really see that pattern show through. So kind of go with something a little bit more on the bold side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and size this up and I'm going to make it, I'm focusing right here on the height, I'm going to make it about one, a little bit over one and a half inches and I think that will be perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and make this the green color and that really doesn't make, make um, a bit of difference if you don't want to do that. It's just 
visual for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I have one and a half, a little bit over an inch and a half in height. That's giving me about four and a half inches to work with um, in length. So that's going to be pretty perfect in my opinion. I'm going to go up here to switch this to the joy and then I'm going to go ahead and click make it. Now since we are working with, oh, we're going to use, let's see, on a mat because we're going to use material that is not smart material. Okay, so I'm going to click done. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and mirror our image because we are working with HTV or iron on. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And then it's just going to locate my joy via Bluetooth and we will then be able to select our material. So we are going to, I believe it's everyday iron on, but I want to make sure that it's not um, patterned. Oh, wait, no, let's see here. Everyday iron on, everyday iron on. Okay, so we are just gonna use everyday iron on. That's perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click out. Okay, so then I'm gonna use default pressure and we are all set to go. So we are gonna be able to, um, if you hover over the mat over here, you'll see how much material we're going to need if you just look at the grid lines. So it looks like we're gonna need about five inches by two inches. So I'll go ahead and pre-cut that and then we'll place it on the mat and get to cutting. Another resource that I really like to use is the heat guide on Cricut.com. I use it for every project that I do with iron on because it just really simplifies the whole process. So I'm going to go ahead and select the machine I'm using, which is the Cricut Easy Press Mini. I'm going to click or click my heat transfer material and I'm going to select patterned iron on. And then my base material is going to actually be cotton poly blend because that is what my hat is um, made of. And then I'm going to click apply. So I love doing this for each individual project because it tells me how to heat up my press and then what type of pressing instructions I need to follow. So we're going to do medium um, for our heat for 25 seconds with constant movement and light pressure. And then one thing I really like is it gives peeling instructions. So this particular project is going to be a cold peel. So we'll have to wait until it's completely cool and then we'll peel our carrier sheet up. So I love doing this. It really helps simplify everything and it just walks me right through the whole process. All right, let's go ahead and cut our material and we will get to pressing. Okay, so I'm just going to trim down my iron on so that it will fit on the mat. So again, I'm doing about two inches by five inches. So I can go ahead and just get that all measured out. And let's see, we have about two inches here, which is perfect. And then it says by five inches, I'll probably just put that piece all the way in there because that is just fine. Okay, so now I can go ahead, make sure that I did that right. Okay, yep, looks good. Um, and then what I'll do is I can go ahead and place it right on the mat. So what I'm going to do is place or peel off this little protective sheet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place this pattern side down or shiny side down on the mat. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I place it exactly where it needs to go here. Okay, and then we can go ahead and open up our Cricut Joy and allow it to just go right in there. Okay, so now it's just going to make sure that the mat is aligned and we can go ahead and select go. And while that's cutting, it's going to be a very quick cut. So what we can do is we can go ahead and preheat our mini easy press. So we are just going to turn it on and then go ahead and click the button again until it is at that medium pressure, which is just the two um, little wave marks. So that will go ahead and start preheating for us because this is actually going to be a super quick project. Um, it's really quick to cut and it's really quick to weave. So we'll go ahead and make sure that our press is all ready to go. Okay, so that's already done. I'm going to click unload. Looks really cute. Okay, so I'm going to take that off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just trim off that little extra piece that I have because we can use that for something else. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and zoom in so that we can go ahead and get this weeded together and then we'll get everything all organized on the hat so we can get it pressed. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly weed this and the little mini easy press has already preheated so it's turned green, letting us know that it is ready to go. And again, this will take no time at all to weed out. I can't wait to see what that pattern looks like on um, this text. I think it's gonna look really, really sweet. 
Okay, so that's what it looks like. That looks cute. I love it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my letters apart because I'm going to place them individually on the hat. This is just going to allow me to kind of space them out how I want them and just play around with it. So I'm going to also cut myself four pieces. I think I'll do four. We'll kind of play it by ear, but I'm going to cut myself four pieces of this heat resistant tape and it's just going to help. I'll just kind of stick it over here as I go. It's just going to help me place my letters on the hat and then just tape them down so they'll stay put while I'm kind of getting them arranged and doing the design portion. Well, and also it's going to help during the pressing portion as well. Just everything will stay put. Okay. I think this is going to look really cute um, on the hat and I like how it's going to pop. Oh, it's really cute. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of start placing the letters where I want them and knowing that they're simply taped there. I can always move them if I want. I might even start with the front two. Um, you know, the, the first two that you're going to see visually in the middle, the middle two, I suppose I should say, and then arrange them from there. Okay. I'm trying to do it really well so you can see, and you will in just a second, but um, it's kind of tilted towards me for just a second so I can just visually get it all where I want it. Okay, so I think that is going to look really, really cute just like that. So what I'm going to do is I didn't preheat my material, so I'm just going to, it's which is okay that I'm taking these off because I'm going to end up kind of putting them on individually anyway. So I'm just going to kind of place them right over here, and then I'm going to grab my little um, hand towel, and I'm just going to kind of roll it and kind of use it as a um, buffer behind there just to kind of keep it... Um, flat so I'm just going to use it to kind of push in there with my hand okay so I'm just going to grab my little mini here and just preheat this material this just gets any moisture out so it's going to take no time at all they say I do that for about five seconds and it's also going to get this little wrinkle out too from shipping I think I got this from Michaels I'll double check though and link it below you can do it on any hat that you prefer though Okay, so I'm going to start in the middle and go out. I think that's visually going to work best for me um, and make more sense to me. So I'm going to go ahead and place this first M here. And let me measure that for you guys so you know kind of how far from that bill of the hat it is. So it looks to be just about a half maybe a quarter to well somewhere between a half and a quarter um, so again this is purely visual so whatever you like but again I'm going to put that little towel right underneath make sure this is laying flat okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mini and it says to do constant movement for 25 seconds and light pressure so again I have if I flip this over I just have the towel just placed in there just kind of as a wedge to keep that space flat and to also just build that up so it has something to press into so I'm going to go ahead and start pressing for 25 seconds with constant movement trying to count and that heat resistant tape is really helping just kind of keep it staying put try to do it kind of like this so it kind of gets all of it at once I love baseball caps I love wearing them um, I, I just love it I think they're so cute and so this is gonna be a really fun little little hat I think I lost count you guys this is why I like the bigger presses because I love the timer on them I tell you guys that all the time too I get to chit chatting and then I think that's probably about good um, and then I just kind of forget okay so again that says cool 
peel. Um, so I can just go ahead and start my next one. So I will go ahead and grab this other A and I'm going to kind of, um, how did I say curve it a little bit? So I'm going to, instead of, you know, doing it straight like that, I'm just going to kind of curve it. So it kind of goes with that natural movement of the hat. Um, so I'm going to curve it and place it just about there. Okay. Just really get it in there. I'm going to check it this way. Make sure I like it. I do. Okay. Putting my towel back under there, building up a little firm foundation and okay, let's not lose count this time, but pressing it says light pressure. So light pressure. I like how that green looks against the white. I think that's super pretty. Okay. I think that one's good as well. Make sure. If you ever think there's not, you know, there's an area, um, the great thing about the mini is you can just do a little focused um, press on those little areas, just in case you think you kind of forgot a spot. Okay, so that looks good, and now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. So I'm going to, again, start with the middle going out, and that looks really cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. About there. I think I like where that is. Might move it up just a, just a tad. And I'm just eyeballing this. So feel free to grab a tape measure if you need to, or if that makes you feel more confident. Okay. And putting my towel back under there and pressing. I love the mini press for projects like this that, you know, are not necessarily flat. Um, it really comes in handy and it just really broadens the horizon for a lot of other materials that you can iron on to. So it just kind of makes you, the crafting world just a little bit more, um, I guess, more opportunities. So cute. Okay. And then my last little one. So nice. I'm going to check the temperature on these other ones. Oops. Feel pretty good. Be about ready. After I do this last one, it'll be about ready to peel. So again, I'm going to kind of tilt this one a little bit. So it'll kind of look like it's curved up a little bit, but then when it's, you know, bent and on your, or on my head, I guess, um, it'll look perfect. Okay. I love it. Okay, putting my towel back under there again. So you'll want to be really careful. Um, you know, the towel is for keeping that firm pressure as well um, underneath, but it's also to protect you and protect your hands. So just be really careful um, with your hand back there. Okay, that looks really good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check these are cool. So we can go ahead and start peeling those. So I'm going to just watch really, really closely and make sure that nothing is peeling up. I'm going to peel at an angle. Just want to make sure nothing is peeling up as I, as I um, peel that carrier sheet off. And it looks really good. So I'll go ahead and do the next one. This one's nice and cool. And again, I'm peeling in the order that I pressed. So I know that, that um, these are nice and cool. I might have to wait a couple. Yeah, I'm going to let those other two cool. But so far, it looks really sweet. I love how that looks. That was really easy too. And they are laying down really, really nice. So if for some reason you are peeling yours up and you notice any lifting and any of the um, letters are trying to come up, you're just going to place your little carrier sheet right back over your letter and then take your press and press again. So you want to make sure that you protect your HTV or iron on from the heat source. You don't want to, you know, place your easy press right back on um, without anything covering it. So make sure you cover it back up and then repress and then it should take care of any lifting. Okay, so these are already ready to go. I think I did the A first, so we can go ahead and just peel at an angle. Let's see, make sure that laid down. Yep, looks good. That one. And then this final one right here. 
and that looks really good as well so sweet and that was so easy too so this is really a fun project you guys can make any type of color hat you'd like um you, there's so many different colors especially if you go on amazon they have a ton of different colors of hats too um and then you can pair it with a really fun you know either patterned htv or you could even do a solid and this would be super super fun what great way to personalize things as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please be sure to give me a thumbs up let me know if you guys have made a hat um as well this was my first time doing that so i really enjoyed that and I like how the process was. It was so nice and easy. Um, so be sure to leave me a comment. What are you guys crafting? And what, if you guys are working with an HTV, let me know what you guys are making. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all in the next video.